Hey Tudy, let's have a quick look at Obelisk because I just got this in my mail and it says you can now get Frozen Plane Obelisk for free. So of course I downloaded it and let's see how that works. So I have my uh, Cubase session here that's an empty project. I'll just show you how I'm loading it up. So first of all, I'm going to load it up as an instrument. And there you go. And there are some instructions how to load it into any DAW. So check check out the, the files here. As you can see, that's the downloads. You have how to set Oblisk in your DAW. And you have Logic, Ableton, and so Reaper, Cubase. And in, in Cubase, what they're saying is uh, that you need to route Basically, you have to uh, to have Oblisk routing to your instrument. So let, let's do that. I'm not going to uh, go through this. And uh, there you go. So, but it doesn't really do anything. So, what is Oblisk? Oblisk is is a helper. I mean, it's kind of a helper tool for you to get your chords and scales. Uh, and uh, if you don't know a lot about music theory and you're struggling with uh, coming up with chords and melodies and, and stuff. So uh, this is really great. And I have to admit, I've been playing it uh, just for uh, 10 minutes and I love it. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to add another instrument. That will be the actual instrument that we'll be playing. So I'm going to take pigments, which I love. This is uh, the synth uh, by Arturia and just the default sound here. And we're going to set the input here as um, as ob Oblisk. So we're going to have Oblisk sending our uh, the, the input. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select Oblisk. All right. So that's one. Second, you have to click the the record enable. And let's see if we have if we have anything. Cool. So let's get uh, pigments out of the way because we're more interested in what's going on here. So we have four slots here. They are all identical. The reason that you have those uh, four here is because uh, you might want to set each one differently and you want to flick between them uh, when you're playing. So uh, I can just do this uh, manually and you can see that only one can be activated at any given time. And we can also do this with the keyboard. So I'm going to just select uh, C1, D, E, F, and that will go just through them. So let's stay on channel one. And here you can see that we have a few things that we can do. So first of all, we have presets. We have this, uh, um, this keyboard here, which I'm not sure what it does. And... To be honest, I don't really care because I want to get uh, things moving faster. So right now when I'm playing something, this is what I get. So uh, let's uh, let's select a chord, just a, a normal major triad. And as you can see, we have the, the unison, that's my uh, zero. Then I have major third and fifth. So I'm going to play uh, just a C chord. And as you can see with the blue uh, coloring on the keys, that's, uh, I mean, that's what is actually playing. Let's just select something else. I'm going to change this to a minor triad. So now So this is basically it and here you can see that I'm uh, I'm set to a specific scale. So um, I can turn this on and off and you can see the the notes that belongs to that scale. So let's uh, let's have uh, I mean that's C 
C minor and it looks correct to me. That's uh, C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp. That's C, um, C minor. And we can uh, change that to whatever and it's pretty cool. I mean, this is really helping. Let's see what happens if we just select something. I mean, let's just have an octave up. So I, I can already see that we have the octave up. Let's uh, do this. But let's uh, let's uh, have something else. For ex for example, let's uh, instead of this uh, octave plus one, we'll we'll take a minor third up here. So, what's the deal? Basically, the idea here is that you will always be in key. This means that your uh, chords are harmonized to the scale. This means that everything works together. So whatever I do here, and I know um, not too much about music theory, well, I know something, but whatever you do here, you, you'll see that it sounds great together. You're not going out of key. So this is the main, um, I'll say, magic here. And now, just for fun, let's get uh, some other sound here. That's, uh, that's again, pigments. And let's just uh, select something here for keys. And we'll get Mystic Pluck. And that's uh, that's obelisk for you. I I think uh, there there's not too much other than that. And you can uh, save preset and load preset. So I can click here and just save uh, whatever preset uh, I I want in the obelisk. That will be P1, and that's it. And uh, let's uh, let's see something else. So you can create your own custom scales here and you can name them and then you can use them uh, in your scale so I, I can I don't know let that scale one let's uh, let's name it something else I, I don't see that I can actually do okay I can Udi. okay cool and I'll just uh, remove all these guys and stay with unison and fifth seems like so everything will be matching that scale that i just uh, created here so uh, and and you can also change the the title here and turn this on and off that's the scale and i think that's pretty much it i'm pretty uh, okay so i'm sure i'm missing something here but uh, i you get the idea so this is uh, again this is obelisk and let's uh, let's uh, just play something here i'll just load stuff and we can I can go on and on so uh, for me that's pretty uh, pretty much it so enjoy this gift by uh, Focusrite and uh, the sound collective I was pleasantly surprised uh, to to open my email today and see this here because I love those little things the, those tools that help me get uh, you know up and running fast so um, Let's close this 
That's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, this is really a great time to do so. So um, I'm really, really enjoying this. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.